My name is Daniel Shin, and welcome to Christianity and Law Discussion. I'm here with Dean Enloe, and today we're, we had a lecture on uh, the importance of Christian counseling and how it's distinctive from other types of counseling. And today, um, the topic was about this, there seems to be this tendency of a conflict between pursuing what is right, also from, all, uh, which is distinctive from pursuing what is profitable. So could you uh, give a brief uh, description of what the conflict really is between the two? Sure. So when we, uh, when we try to persuade people, it really happens in, in two contexts. One like in courts where we're arguing against someone. But in uh, the other kind of, of argument we do is when somebody comes to us for advice or, or counsel. And uh, we're not arguing with them. Uh, we're, we're arguing to them, we're arguing for them, we're trying to, to move them. And uh, people who have, have thought about this for a long time, and I, I gave an example today uh, from the, the Mencius, uh, but you find this in the, in the West uh, as well, have observed that really when you're trying to counsel someone, there, there are two poles that people uh, are moved by. Uh, one is by, by talk about what's right, what's lawful, what's good. And on the other hand, by, by inquiries into what's profitable, practicable, or possible for them. And uh, of course, we see conflicts between these two. Sometimes people will say, well, that's right to do, but it's impossible for me to do. I'd lose my job, I'd go to jail, something bad would happen. Uh, they're, they're pulled away from, from the right. And so uh, this question about, about how you, you bring together to persuade people to follow the right course your, your understanding of what is right and what is, is practical and how you express that. Uh, that's really the, the essential problem of good counseling. Uh, how, we, how we think through things as counselors and how we, how we give that counsel. So it seems that as a follow-up question, but there seems to be when these two come into conflict, there needs to be a choice that needs to be made between the two when it's unresolvable. So are there some, uh, is there a way of distinguishing which is of a higher value in terms of when the two have to be ba balanced? So, I mean, this is obviously, there's going to be some, uh, some deep choices that have to be made. And, and if you look at the modern world, uh, there are some people who say there's no such thing as right or, or wrong or good or honorable. There's just practical. What's practical, what's less practical. Uh, there are some people who say, uh, don't think about practicality at all. We don't, we don't need to attend to that at all. I think that's, uh, that's wrong. And, and lawyers are very concerned with what's uh, practical, but only, only within the, the domain of what's uh, righteous and good. And today we, we talked about a really powerful story in Mark chapter 10 about Jesus counseling the, the, the ruler, uh, the, the rich young ruler. And what you see in, in Christ's counseling is this, this readiness from the beginning to establish our principal goal in seeking God uh, and uh, to, to, to drive the rich young ruler uh, in that direction uh, without being afraid of saying, uh, this is going to require things of you which are difficult but with, with the power also to say, but they're worth it. This is not too costly for what you'll gain. He's, he's persuasive on this point. And the, the disciples ask afterwards, you know, if, you, if, if he couldn't do it, can anybody be saved? And this is, it's really important for us uh, as Christians to have the spirit of Jesus counseling. It is impossible with men. But look at you guys. Look at you disciples. You've done it. It's possible with God. And, and that hope and that conviction and that, that readiness to persuade people uh, to, the rich young ruler went off sad. At least he went off sad. But I, I just, if, if this is a, an interesting topic, I encourage people to watch the lecture uh, or, or read over uh, Mark 10 again with this in, in mind. I think this is a very powerful stuff for Christian lawyers. Well, thank you, Dean Elno, for answering those questions. And for our audience, if you would like to see the full lecture, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you can view the full lecture. Thank you for today's uh, lecture. Thank, thank you. Pleasure.